In the early production of my film Blackheath, I started to take an interest and draw inspiration from several thriller films, including Vertigo, Dark Knight and The Fugitive. The first shots in my opening sequence I feel set the tone of the film well. These canted, grainy and uneasy place shots immediately create an unsettled tone which straight off acts to detach the audience from the sense of security and put them on the edge and on the alert. Why these shots are being used and the stigma created from them raises questions to the audience of the significance of the town, and these enigma codes instantly brought into my sequence are a pivotal component of the Fridler genre and, of course, any film. In my sequence, I end these slow off-balance shots with the dramatic entrance of my character Nicole, which breaks the slow pace and acts to throw the audience even more off and into the film. The film Vertigo works in a similar way to this, as the initial shot is a slow sill of a bar, and this intrigues the audience and draws them in. However, this mood is broken instantly by the entrance of a hand grabbing the bar and breaking the said slow tone. This works to engage the audience more into the film, as they are removed from their relaxed state and placed into a more tense situation. The protagonist, the coal, brings the audience into her position through close shots of her head and line of view, causing the audience to start to care about her as her position becomes continuously more and more threatened by the entrance of the antagonists. Dressed in all black, apart from one blank white mask, my antagonists are built to cause terror for my protagonist, but still retain a crime appearance and not full horror connotations. I looked at the Dark Knight films to get inspiration for my antagonists, as I found the masks used in those films to be particularly effective. The masks seem to detach the person behind it from their humanity and bring a new facade of the person that is menacing and unpredictable. And it's because of these in the Dark Knight film, as well as other horror or thriller films, that I felt it was appropriate to use the mask in a way that conformed to more mainstream thriller films. The setting around my opening sequence is very conformative of the thriller genre. The film The Fugitive, as well as all the previous films I've mentioned, are all set in or around a city. So it's with the use of a city setting in my film that I hope to reaffirm the genre into my sequence to a much greater extent. One of the main aims I set out when doing my sequence was to try as much as possible not to divert from the genre and to try and conform as closely as possible, and it is through the titles that I help to achieve the same. The slick, sharp and modern titles convey a mature city feel, with the addition of the thin letters subtly hinting towards the sharp and on the edge of your seat tension within the film. The music for Blackheath is distinct from other modern day thriller films, as it is prominently reminiscent of other 80s films from the same genre. This is something my Tolga audience noticed, and when compared to films like Fatal Attraction, the link is very clear. The link between Blackheath and these older thriller films is really effective as it connects my newer film to the more traditional and more sophisticated films of the 80s like Fatal Attraction or even the 90s such as Silence of the Lambs.